Today we are going to be making latkes, which is one of my family's very favorite dishes during Hanukkah. But it's not Hanukkah and these aren't traditional latkes because instead of using potatoes, we are going to be using asparagus. The only ingredients you'll need are asparagus, yellow onion, eggs, rye flour, plus big little staples, salt, pepper, and oil. So a lot of asparagus recipes will tell you to snap off the like tough woody end. Oops, ah, it just happened. But we don't have to worry about that here. Just start at the top of your asparagus when you're grating. And then when you get to like the last inch, inch and a half, Dish it and then go on to the next stalk. I'm just using the coarse holes on my grater. It's not, uh, it's not like a science. It's not the most perfect thing. You're gonna get pieces that are uneven. Like these are a little bit chunkier. This is really fine. That's okay. It actually makes for um, a lot of nice texture in the pancake. So my mom's latkes, they always have potato and onion. Obviously we are ditching the potato in these asparagus latkes, but we're definitely keeping the onion because it is um, so savory and it gives a lot of dimension to a really simple recipe. And my mom, she would always grate the onion and potato in like a, like a food processor attachment, you know, where you go like, and it like, you know, you know. I'm fine doing it by hand. So the ratio that we're working with here is like a pound of asparagus, half a pound of yellow onion. Now that might be like one medium onion, too small. It doesn't matter, just go for the weight. I think once you get you feel like you can't squeeze any more water out of the asparagus and onion. Do like one or two more squeezes and then you're done. It's really shriveled, but that's a good thing. So this is gonna help make sure that our asparagus latkes uh, really like crisp up in the oil. So now that our asparagus and onion have been grated, squeezed, and they are in the bowl, they are ready for our other ingredients. So I'm just gonna crack the eggs directly in. A lot of latke recipes, they'll use all-purpose flour. That's what my family does. But today we are going to be using rye flour, which has like a really nutty, malty flavor. And it actually is really, really nice with the asparagus. So the last couple things we'll need are kosher salt, a generous amount. I'm doing it like a heaping teaspoon. And like three quarters of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I just like to grind this up in like a coffee melt, keep a really small amount on my counter, and then it stays really uh, peppery and fresh and intense for however many days you have it out. Now we just whisk it up with a fork. If you look at it, it just kind of looks like a ton of asparagus. And then the onion, the flour, the egg, they are just there to support the asparagus uh, in its latke journey and make it feel uh, really good and happy and confident. So this looks great. We're ready to fry. So each latke I'm making like, I don't know, a tablespoon and a half between one and two tablespoons. And for this size, they will be cooking like for a few minutes on each side, just until it's like uh, deeply, confidently golden brown. Hopefully the edges get a little bit charred. That's it, good luck guys. 
So while our latkes are cooking, this is a great time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more few ingredient recipes. Oh yeah. So our latkes are freshly fried. I am going to top them with a just a pinch of salt and I'm gonna serve them with some sour cream and peach jam. Let me know in the comments what you would serve these with. These are our asparagus latkes. Because we squeezed everything out, they got these awesome crispy frilly edges. That is my favorite part. I'm gonna get a little sour cream, a little jam. It's really funny how when you have so many of the components of a classic latka, you don't even need the potato for your brain to say latka and all the happy memories that come with that for me. I can't wait to hear what you think of these and I will see you next week for another few ingredient recipe.